All right, so today we are getting ready to do some sawing. So I'm gonna replace this very old bar and this old chain without further ado. So, first up, release. Oh gosh, I haven't messed with this for a while. That slips right out. That's actually the old original. I've had this for years. Probably should have replaced it a while back. Here's the new one. Picked that up at Lowe's. Or rather, I had the wife do it. Husqvarna. Made in Norway. What's Norway? <laughs> Norway. All right, before I put that in, what I really ought to do I had my camera lady run in and get me an old toothbrush. So while we've got this off, we can just kind of clean off a little bit of this old, this old grime, this old busted up stuff. Always a good reason to keep a chain, uh, not chain, good reason to keep a old toothbrush around for one thing or another. And then when you really can't get in there deeper, you can use your little adjustment tool just to keep it kind of cleaned out. I'm not obsessive at all about um, keeping stuff too clean but while you got it off you might as well do a little you can see it's taking some abuse see right here over here over here over here um, this got busted up pulled the metal off so what I could do I don't have gloves on but I can bend that back and forth until it drops off just to get that out of the way Oh yeah, there. And grab my new chain. This got uh, from Tractor Supply. It says it works with mine, so we'll see. Put your bar in position, and then of course you got to untangle this mess. So. <laughs> Went through all the trouble. I'm like, what is going on? Um, simple things are usually the case, what happened. So my sister bought me this and um, it says right on the front, Husqvarna, it's an 18 inch. She knows I've got Husqvarna 18 inch. But what she didn't do, and what I didn't do at first is flip it over and check, make sure that it's the right model. So yeah, it's a, it'll fisk a Husk, fit a Husqvarna 18 inch chainsaw, just not this one. So what I'm going to do, unfortunately, for now, because I want to use it today, is I'm going to go ahead and just throw the new bar on, and what I'm going to do is use the, the old chain. So I'm going to throw it back on, and then I'll go get my file and give it a quick sharpening, and then I'll be able to use it. And make sure I've got my teeth facing the right way. Oh, look at that. It actually fits. And you say, well, the chain's stretched out. But no, it's because it's the right chain. So... Make sure we get that fed all the way on here. And it's probably better to go the other way so that the cutting action isn't um, going to get me. And then you just kind of put a little tension on there to get them back in the grooves. And just straighten it out. Come on. Somebody's got a trick they know. I don't know any tricks. Anyway, what I'm going to do, now I've got it that close, is get this cover back on so it can hold tension for me. That doesn't look right. It doesn't look right? No. It's because it's not. If it doesn't look right, it's probably not. Oh, got to adjust this. Oh, why are y'all crooked? <laughs> so there, I finally got it in there. 
with much hilarity. There we go. Old chain, new bar. Where's my nut? There we go. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. All men joys got nuts. Mounds don't because. Sometimes I feel like a Sometimes I. You like mounds? What are mounds? Almond Joy? Candy bars? They're good. That's what they are. Alright, so. Yay. Got that back on. Now, tightness, you want it. You don't want too much slack. But before I tighten this down, I want to make sure I have a little bit. Basically, like this. You know, just, just enough. So it doesn't want to come out of the track, but it's not over tightened. If it's over tightened, it ain't gonna want to. It ain't want to go anywhere. I'll say I'm comfortable here. There we go. I like that position. All right. So what we're gonna do now is go get my my uh, file and resharpen these. This will be the last use of this chain. I'll have to go get another new one. All right. Stop it. Just, you know, and you just try to match the angle as best you can. Be consistent with a few runs and then you can feel oh yeah that's nice and sharp and then once you've done enough unlock that chain bar bring it down so that you can next get the next few pause it so I'm doing my last tooth before you can see I already did that one so I got back around to it on this side good and then I gotta turn it around and do the other side there's two sides. Yeah, so you've got the teeth that cut this way, and then you have the teeth that cut this way. Are you what, looking through the receiver uh, or the, the camera? So what it does is the chain's a little wider than the bar, right? And because the teeth are offset, they get you a little bit bigger cut than the, than the width of the actual chain so that it can keep going through whatever you're cutting on. Anywho. So now that I've done all of them that are facing this way, I gotta do them all that are facing this way. So same on, same thing, cutting, uh, well here. You see how the angle is. I'm gonna be going this way. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come at it this way. Can you? Yeah. I just always go this way. It's safer too. Will it be against the law if you do it the other way? <laughs> No, no, but uh, better chance that you end up in the ER or or having to use a Band-Aid. But if you're lucky like me, you probably have some really nice Band-Aids in the house, like what, like My Little Pony or what else do we have for, for Band-Aids? A poodle. Huh? A poodle. A poodle? Yeah, a poodle. A poodle Band-Aid? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't think I've seen that one. Is that new? I think so. Is that new to our first aid kit? What's well, in our bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you know, I try not to use band aids, huh? I guess I, I feel like I'm a big baby if I use a band aid. <laughs> I figure if it stopped bleeding, I don't need a band aid on it. But uh, I understand it makes the wee ones feel a little better to have a band aid. And they like putting band aids on me, too. <laughs> I saw one earlier uh, that was chipped, and that's okay, you know, you've still got lots of friends that can help with the cut. What were we just talking about, camera lady, about how if it can take down a tree? Take down us. It can take us down for sure, shred us to pieces. And because like trees are like a hundred times, million times stronger mm -hmm. than us. And it can cut that, that means it can cut us. Would it be smart if I was wearing a pair of gloves right now? Yes. It would be smart if I was wearing a pair of gloves. Um, but whenever you're dealing with a sharp tool, a firm grasp is half the battle for safety. Grab it very firmly because if it's loose, it can slip and that's when... Cuts you. Exactly. So, I'm um, just about finished up. You can go ahead and kill that video. So, I figured I'd at least let you see the first cut with the new bar and the old but sharpened uh, chain. I threw some new 
oil in it. Uh, I had my local small engine repair guy. He put a, a thinner shim or whatever so I can run motor oil for the bar and chain. Um, I guess that's a thing that you can do. I've been working on this oak uh, starting last year, and there's it's you know they're twins. This piece was down. It's it's down and it gets wet, picks up moisture, but it's been so dry this summer. I'm thinking I might be able to actually make some use out of it. We'll we haven't see. had rain in a month and a half. Yeah, I think we had a sneeze the other day. All right, let's see. Let's see how she starts up. Oh, it wants it. it produces so the smaller the chips if it's if it's smaller than it used to be there's a, that's an indicator too anyway i just figured i'd let you see the first cut or two of the new bar same old chain huge difference because that chain can't play like it like it had been so definitely needed a new bar have a good one <laughs>